Fingerlearn. Fingerlearn was a non-core, it was a sales related job. Fingerlearn is a company that makes application and uh, online program that teaches students to prepare for exams. Uh, it covers everything from the UPSC to GATE to even the school level up to class 6. From class 6 to 12 everything they cover. And so they make programs and applications so that they can sell it. Our job in Think and Learn was pretty clear, it was simply sales job. So it was an off-campus interview held in a college in Calcutta. There, the first round was a GD round. We were taken to a room and there were about 20 students in there. We were given a topic, which I can remember is, should aeroplanes be armed with a self-defense system or not? So the GD started pretty normally saying everyone was putting up their own views and as it happens with every GD it was turning into a chaos. At that time our coordinator stopped everyone and allowed each student to express their own views. I think that is the moment which I could take advantage of because I could clearly place my views. As it happens with most GDs, uh, it's a lot of chaos and if you are not able to put your opinion clearly and loudly, your opinion is going to be tra trampled in the chaos. So one thing I would like to uh, advise everyone is to prepare GD pretty well. There are opportunities to learn in college and in your hostel rooms. Make a small group and learn how to conduct a GT and how to not be left out in the discussion. So when the GD was concluded, uh, there was just one student selected in my group, which was me. And from there, we were taken for interview. In the interview, uh, there was just a one interviewer. He basically asked why do I want to join the sales department of the company because we are not a salesman, we are studying mechanical engineering which is totally different from what the job profile is. So when we are joining this company, we are totally involved in sales. So the interview wanted to know why was I giving this company of preference over my core companies. So I had to make it pretty clear that uh, it is a good opportunity and sales is also a good job because it is a respectable job and it has a lot of growth potential. One thing you have to be uh, clear is that the interview know, interviewer knows that why you are taking the job. It is just a safety net for you. Your basic focus is on code. But you have to be able to convince the interviewer that this company is your choice and it will be giving you a lot of opportunity and somehow you have to convince the interviewer that uh, you will stick to the company in the long run. Apart from that, uh, other questions were relating yourself about your activities at school, college, your friends, hobbies and all. And one question which were asked to, to other students but not to me is uh, selling of a pen. It's a salesman position, so uh, learning how to sell a commodity should be a pretty uh, easy thing for you to do. Uh, so students were asked how to sell a pen or a duster or anything which was on the table at that time. So practice a few times of selling a pen, which is a basic requirement of a sales job. This interview was totally based on your willingness to join the group or not because it doesn't entitle anything to do your it didn't include any of your knowledge requirement your job at the at the company was merely related to sales and nothing of content making so you only have to focus on how to sell yourself and sell that pen uh, all this interviewer has to understand that you are willing to join so my company Experience, interview experience is just limited to two, which is Wipro and, and uh, Think and Learn. Both of them don't belong to my core domain, but as a student, you should learn that 
it is a difficult time in the market. You have to have a job at hand. So don't only depend on core coming to your campus or to a pool. Uh, be ready to take up any job and uh, good luck for your life.